hello friends welcome again and this is my new project bike rental system and i have developed this project in python django and mysql the version for the python i'm using is the python 3.7 and django version is 2 and mysql version is 5.6 i'm using the mysql connector for connecting python django with mysql also you can connect mysql with python and django using the py mysql you can install this plugins using the pip command right so it's a web-based project so for front-end development i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library i also have used for giving some good effects inside the project like form validations integration of the date calendar plugin for creating dynamic tables i have used the date calendar i have used the jquery plugins right so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page right and there is nothing dynamic on this page this is about project and it's also a static page if you want to change the content you can change directly from the about.html this is a contact us it's a static form from where you will be able to send the information but again i'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere and even i'm not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is admin login from where you will be able to log in Right. it's a mini project where admin can only log in and admin can perform the operation right so the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard right so you can see there are four options available here add booking booking report change password and logout only these operations that's why it's a mini project because the functionalities are less once you click on the add booking you can enter the bike name bike charge per day bike number bike company full descriptions bike email booking name from date to date pickup address drop address con booking contact and photo of the bike right so this is the form and this all details will be saved in the database right this is also oh, sorry right so it will be saved inside the database right this is add booking form this is a booking report all of the bookings which you have made will be displayed here you can see this is the bike images right all of the uh, bike images you have uploaded from the uh, add bike form right the details are here this is a dynamic table right you can see the uh, filters are getting uh, sorted here right means records are getting sorted here you can search the record from here right you can see the records are searching on real time right even you can edit the details this is added details you can edit the details and you can update the details from here right this is a booking report if it comes more than 10 records then you can set the pagination also this is a pagination if it contains more than 10 records then this pagination will be increased means the two page will be appeared here right so this is the dashboard again the change password this is a change password from where you you will be update your account password right and after updating your account password you will be able to log inside the system with your updated password right and the logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will be you will not be able to access the internal pages right so let me show you logout then you can see that administration the administration menu is not displaying if i log in then administration menu is displaying right because this is a session driven menu and it's rendering according to the session right so these functionalities i have developed inside this project by rental system and as i told you earlier this is a python django mysql web based mini dbms project dbms because we are performing database operations here inside this project right if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much